Let's say you're walking on the equator. And of course, the Earth is spinning. Now, do you know when, uh, you're, when you're traveling in a circle, you're spinning in a circle, you're accelerating? Obviously, the Earth wouldn't be spinning that fast. But if you were on the equator and, and the Earth was spinning, would you feel it? Whoa. <laughs> let's take a look. So let's calculate how fast the Earth would be accelerating if it was spinning. So if something's moving in a circle and you want to know how fast it's accelerating, you use this formula. Acceleration equals velocity squared divided by the radius. So it's a little more simpler than I thought, and uh, let's calculate it out. The Earth at the equator is spinning 1,037 miles per hour. The radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles. Using a big number calculator, and using the formula I just showed you, I plugged in the numbers, and the Earth should be accelerating at 1.327 inches per second squared. Of course, you're not going to believe me, so let's Google it. And here we got the same answer. Now let's ask AI. If you were traveling in a circle at uh, 1,037 miles per hour with the radius of the circle at 3959 miles, how fast would you be accelerating in inches per second squared? Conversion factors miles underscore to underscore inches equals 5,280. And we got the same number. Okay, we got our little accelerator machine. Got a big long arm for leverage. And then we're gonna use it to accelerate something or somebody. This is the accelerometer part of our machine. So we have marks one through five seconds. So we can use those to, to match our calculated speed of the Earth. The distance per second is not linear because the calculation is squared. So you can see here at one inch, obviously we're at 1.33 inches. And then at three seconds, we're at 5.9 inches. And at five seconds, we're at 16.6 .6 inches. So you can see it changes dramatically. In order to keep a constant acceleration, you're standing on the earth backwards. Here on the equator, we're gonna accelerate the same as the earth would accelerate if it was spinning. So this is going to be a five second deal. Ready? I'm going to tell you one right here. It's going to go. Did you feel it? Yes. The whole time? The entire time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see how we did on timing. All right, so right there is uh, 98, pretty close. Right there, we should be around three. 120 off, that's pretty close. Right here, about 20 off again, 22 off, pretty close, real close. And over here for you. So we're just a hair fast, and you can feel it. Not looking too good for the globe. Let's try it in a chair. Do a chair, okay? So yeah, you definitely feel a chair, standing, don't matter. But I will say, I felt it a little less in the chair. That makes sense, because you're top heavy when you're standing. Let's check the numbers. Okay, let's look at our time here. All right, so we take off. Right there, we're like 105, we're a little slow. Right here, we're, yeah, that's, that's almost right now. I want a little bit slow, 306. We're uh, slow there, like a quarter of a second, and then, uh, or like a half second slow there. So we're a little bit slow, and, and uh, I can understand that takeoff, you might feel a little bit, but she feels it through the whole way. So it's not looking too good for the globe. According to our results, it doesn't look good for the globe. Now, we tried it with another person, and we got the same results. Now, don't, remember, when you're, when you're traveling in a circle, you're accelerating. So you can't just say, oh, I don't feel it because of gravity. It doesn't work that way. Okay, let's borrow a dog and try it. 
He's like, whoa! <laughs> he, can, he can feel it the whole time. <laughs> now the ride's over, he's like, what was that? Okay, I'm gonna try to do it half speed this time. <laughs> he's like, whoa! <laughs> Oh, then he, he sits down. He's like, yeah, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. All right, so you, as soon as you take off, you can feel it. Okay, right here, we should be at one second. We're at two seconds. Oh, one, almost at 1.7, almost two seconds. And then, like, he's still feeling it. And he's like, whoa, and right here, we should be at about two seconds. We're at three. And then <laughs> right here, he's like, I think I'll just sit down and enjoy the ride. Right here we're at uh, supposed to be three seconds or almost five. And he, he's looking down. Oh, I can still feel this. Here we should be at four. We're at seven. So even at almost half speed, he can still feel it. He's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Even at half speed, it's not looking too good. Okay, I'm going to try to move it as slow as I can. Tell me if you feel it. Okay. Feel that? Yes. You feel that? Yes. I can't move it slow enough, you can't feel it. You feel that? Yeah. <laughs> like this, how about this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> wow, it's amazing how the human body can feel the slightest movement. Okay, now let's do the drop test. Let's check it out in slow motion. All right, so here we are in slow motion. We're going to drop it. And notice how it comes away from the level. Makes total sense because it's, it's not accelerating anymore. And uh, now it's moving away from the level. Makes total sense. Let's do it again. Same experiment again. And you can see it moves away again. This time the sled was a little quicker, so it moved away a little farther. Makes sense. And of course, if the sled's not moving and you drop it, it's gonna follow the level straight down. <laughs> Yay. So you should be able to go to the equator, set up a level, and if the earth was spinning and you drop it, it should move away from the level. But I guarantee you that's not gonna happen. Which brings me to another point. I can understand the theory of gravity holding the air to the Earth. But the Earth is spinning, that means it's accelerating, like I showed you. If it's, if it's accelerating, wouldn't the air fall behind like the ball and create a wind speed to the west? In one minute, you would have accelerated 200 feet. I couldn't find a scientific explanation for this, except for Coriolis. But Coriolis doesn't explain why the air is falling in unison with the Earth. Well, to wrap it up, according to our results, it looks like if the Earth was spinning, you would feel the Earth move. 